Even on a quiet day, the Museum of Science is bustling. The movements and sounds are not made by people, instead they're made by a machine, an audio kinetic sculpture called the Archimedean Excogitation. To some, this is a work of art. To others, a feat of science. Truth is, it's a little bit of both. This exhibit was created by George Rhodes in 1987. Over 30 moving or sound creating devices fill the museum's atrium with sounds that mimic a busy city. These sounds may seem random, but they're the result of an intricate chain of events. You can see this happen at the middle of the exhibit. Two different sized balls move other parts of the exhibit, which then move other moving parts of the exhibit as well. Once the balls hit the bottom of the sculpture, a conveyor belt brings them back to the top and the process starts all over again. So science and art go hand in hand. For example, origami, the Japanese art of folding paper is studied by scientists. So in the future, we can create structures that are strong and can collapse easily. And paleontologists rely heavily on artists who can imagine what these animals look like based on scientific evidence. So the connection between science and art goes hand in hand. Next time that you're at the Museum of Science, check out our audio kinetic sculpture or other art pieces located here at the Museum of Science, like human connections or tidelines located at Engineering Design Workshop.